Hello from Myrtle Beach. Today we are going to show you a couple of very special uh, properties that are for sale right now. Uh, this is a very, very unique situation. If you've been with us a while, you've seen us film this area. It's this really quiet area in the northern part of Myrtle Beach. So not North Myrtle Beach, the city, but the northern part of Myrtle Beach. And it has this walking trail here. It has exercise equipment. You can see the ocean as you walk, which is really nice. It's a special area. And they have these very unique beach cabanas. So these are not houses. These are just beach cabanas. There's only a handful of them and they very, very rarely go up for sale to the public. But these two right here, not this white one, but the two peach or salmon colored ones are for sale. And I'll share the price with you in just a moment. And I'll also put a link to the Zillow listing in the description so you can check that out but here they are so if you're interested there's the information and you can see one of them there and i'm actually going to go around the side where you can even get a better view of them they have their own little access here it's private and so i'm going to tell you all about these if you're new to our channel hi i'm carmen we cover everything myrtle beach and the surrounding area and if you're a return viewer welcome back we are so glad to have you with us so the closest cross street is this Haskell Circle right here. So if you're looking for them, if you want to drive by and check them out. And there is a public beach access right here. And so we're going to walk down this public beach access, check these out. Uh, these do have their own beach access and they are for sale for $1.8 million. And you might say, okay, it's 0.44 acres. It's oceanfront. Sure, that makes sense. That's totally legitimate but there are a bunch of restrictions on this property. Uh, this property cannot be modified. You cannot remove sand from it. You cannot remove sea oats from it. You also cannot live in it full time. There are all kinds of restrictions on this. So basically what you see is what you get. I mean, sure, I'm, I'm certain you can renovate the interior. They are also not permitted to have a kitchen. Uh, this, this unit is sold as a pair, so you get both of these buildings. One of them does have a bathroom and a shower. The other one does have a mini fridge and a microwave, but apparently you are not permitted to have a full kitchen. And there are other restrictions on this land. And so, you know, I, I think I posted this online and people said, well, uh, they probably buy it, tear it down, and put something else. As far as I know, that is not allowed. You can't do that. Um, I don't even think you can modify the footprint that you see here. Like I said, I think you can make some modifications to the inside, but that's about it. The permitting here is incredibly strict, mostly to protect this area, the dunes and the general area. I think there also might be some restrictions so it's not blocking the view for what's across the street. Um, it's up for debate what the reasons for the restrictions are, but it does have plenty. So let's go beachside and check this out. But these have always been fascinating to so many people, including myself, just because they are so unique. There's only a few of them here in this one small area. And so uh, it just makes it really interesting because it's so unique. I did look, do a bunch of research on the history and the rumor is they were built for the original houses across the street, which most of which are long gone and there's condos in their place, but that's actually speculation. I could find no actual, um, you know, no way to confirm that 100%, but that is the story. That is uh, what I could find online. And so here is the amazing view these would have. So, I mean, the way I feel about it is if you could buy these, even if you could not change the physical size of them, I looked them up, they're about 500, they're a little over 500 square feet each uh, on the inside. You know, with the whole tiny home thing, with two of them connected like that, you could totally live in that. The thing is, is from what I read, the restrictions, you are not allowed to live full time in these and you're not allowed to have a kitchen. So it literally is a beach cabana. That, that's really all it is. But I guess if you've got the money and say you have a mansion here somewhere, but it's not oceanfront, maybe it's worth it to you. Uh, but also they have no driveway. They have no parking space. Um, there is, I think, some public parking over on Haskell Circle that I showed you but you have to pay to park there. And Myrtle Beach is going to year round parking now uh, where you have to pay year round. Uh, now, if you own property in Myrtle Beach, there are parking pass options. So I suppose you have that, but still, I mean, 
you do get this view. Don't get me wrong. I mean, this is actually another negative. I'm not trying to dwell on the negatives, but you've got this uh, street runoff here. That is water you don't want to swim in. So you wouldn't even want to come straight out here and swim. You'd want to go down this beautiful beach a little. Um, and also Brian pointed out, you pay $1.8 million for something right next to this hotel and also right next to a public beach access because this public beach access right here is open to the public. You know, there's no parking in it, but anyone is allowed, you know, to walk into this public beach access that you saw me come out. So it's labeled as 59th, uh, the public beach access. So, you know, I mentioned that Haskell Circle, but I guess this is the 59th uh, that goes by the avenues for um, the location. So let's go down and look at this beautiful water while we talk about the cabanas a little more. If you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. That helps us a lot. It helps other people find our videos. So we always appreciate that. I mean, look at this beautiful day. I'm actually surprised there's not more people out. Don't get me wrong, it is in the morning, but this is a perfect Saturday in the summer. So I'm really surprised there's not more more people out already although to be fair this is not a densely populated area as you can see so you have a few of these walkovers are for the condos and houses across the street and some of the walkovers are for these cabanas because there's you can see you know sprinkled through here a few of the cabanas so they they are very interesting I, i'll give them that and i would say this one is probably one of the best since there's two and man, look at those views. I mean, even from here, closer to the ocean, just got some amazing views from those cabanas. And it would give you a place to run in if it started storming. So leave me a comment and let me know, if you had the money, would you spend 1.8 for something like that? Or would you look for an actual house <laughs> uh, that you could live in? Me, I would want something I could stay in full time. And I would definitely want something with a kitchen uh, for me personally. Uh, Brian was even debating, he's like, well, I wonder if it's legal to sleep overnight because the restriction just said you could not live there full time. It didn't say you couldn't sleep. And it, it, at least the information I could find online, like I said, it was sparse. It was really hard to find a lot of information. Man, it's beautiful waves today, like really calm because it's kind of windy, so I'm surprised. But uh, just let me know in the comments, would you spend that money if you had it? Um, I don't have to worry about that because I don't have that. Um, so I don't, that's way out of my price range. But I'm just curious what you think about it, uh, what you think about that price. And um, like I said, definitely check out the Zillow link on, in the description below because you can see pictures of the inside of these cabanas, which I find interesting as well. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click on the video on your screen right now and click subscribe so you won't miss anything new. Thanks so much for watching. Until our next adventure.